We have four children. Over the last three years, we've been trying not to miss the retreats and to attend them. Kriya Yoga is very helpful in bringing up children. We embrace it as a way of life. We can't even picture life differently without Kriya Yoga. There is awareness, there is acceptance. Every day with children is exciting and new in its own way. Children have a very vibrant, youthful energy, changeable energy. Their mood swings every moment and you have to be accepting of that state. If a child wants something new, sometimes you should provide it, and sometimes you should say no. It means that you have to have a certain attitude of acceptance. And therefore, it really helps us to raise the children, to guide them. The modern world offers lots of different areas to immerse in terms of knowledge or science. And children need to be taught something. In what direction should they be guided? What to teach them? Yoga helps us make that choice. A lot indeed changed in our life, changed for the better. The biggest change we've had is our daily routine. Our diet has changed, as time has passed since we started practicing. Things have become more and more interesting. We started going to bed earlier and getting up earlier. For example, our eldest child gets up at 5 a.m. She doesn't do her homework in the evening, instead she gets up at 5 a.m. to complete it. We don't have an issue with making her do her homework. We don't say, go do it, you have a lot of homework to do, at all. We don't check her homework, she does it herself. We usually get up together, she gets up on her own and does her homework. She's good at it. Sometimes she comes up and asks us something, for example, how to solve a problem. Our diet has consequently changed. We eat cleaner, tastier, and better food. At the retreat, the whole family gets transformed. We have all come together, and we are all transforming together. They have a great community here. Our kids here would do anything on any terms just to go to Sochi or to a retreat anywhere else to meet friends, to meet their crowd. I mean, we don't see the older children, only the younger ones. They are with us. They walk, run, jump, play. They have a bead weaving class, a drawing class. They have all sorts of things to do. They come up with new ones, and they're having a great time. Kind children come here. I don't know how to put it any other way. They are different. They are open, joyful. When we invited our friends to attend the retreat in 2019, we told them, maybe this won't happen again, maybe this is the last retreat in Russia, maybe Master will move abroad and hold retreats there, so come, they went for it. On the other hand, motivation can only come, I believe, from some kind of push. Therefore, from my point of view, everyone who is thinking needs that push, that impulse. My personal advice is to attend the retreat. You won't regret it. I truly believe you shouldn't waste time and let this opportunity slip through your fingers. Use every moment, every chance you have, to talk to Master, to connect with like-minded people. It's really quite awesome and very empowering. Please come, we'll be waiting for you. We'll play with the children and socialize as families together.